the absurd was merely the starting point. Only when I faced dark oblivion did I attend to those sweet imperfections that make life both meaningful and precious. In the finitude of a fleeting life, each one of us has moments of wisdom, times when profound doubts would an appetite for meaningful truths beyond reason's reach. What matters then are not words, but silence. Mystery is found in the world, not in words, not in dreams of future sublimity, but patterns that order and animate. Nature hides in a cloud of unknowing, but I am mistaken to attribute this knowledge of my ignorance as God. No one knows whether or not God exists. It's the awareness of this ignorance that's the catalyst that impels science, and it's in this sense that I'm religious my task less to judge than understand. And God's too desirable, and religion is much too reassuring to be true. Religious consolation is not truth. Reliable truths are open to change. The renunciation of religion by no means implies repudiating the existence of a spiritual life. In God's absence, the world becomes holy. A tolerance for life's complexities brings me greater bliss than simplicity, and belief in God is a sin of pride. All personal gods or idolatrous. Faith matters less than focused attention. An atheist spirituality is premised on fidelity, not faith, a fidelity to action, not hope. Insofar as I can comprehend it, it's enough to stand in awe of this world. I'm earth, air, fire, and water made conscious. The point is to celebrate this mystery. We philosophize to learn detachment. When existence becomes rare and fragile, life becomes worthy of reverence and awe, not in words, but in silent attention. Attentive to innerness, my inscape, I've learned that my spirituality is not constrained to mere introspection. Spirituality is sensual, too. Too little of my life I've been alive, and discovery of this ignorance is the greatest of my accomplishments. Holiness is in the world not in God. Religious Naturalism A Meditation by Lucretius